Okay, welcome to the third video on the EasySense product in which we would like to explain to you how to create a group and how to add switches to the group. Uh, and in order for grouping to occur, there is radio communication needed. So we will not be using the NFC version of the app uh, because we need the power to do the radio communication. Uh, so we will go and continue to use the IR version of the app in which we will find a uh, grouping uh, possibility. So we will now see that we can create a group and for the purpose of this video, I will add two fixtures to a group. So I will say, okay, I create a group, and you can see that the fixture dims down. That means that it acknowledges the receipt of my IR command, and it will now start to do radio communication. So I say, yes, okay, that's fine. I will now add another fixture to the group here in the corner. I will add this fixture here. Also, that fixture acknowledges the receipt of my command by dimming down. So I say, okay, yes, I'm done, because for this purpose here, we only add two fixtures to the group. So I'm happy, and I will now add a switch to the group, and the app will guide me through that. So I will now first use the Illumina two-button switch, uh, which I have in my hand here. Uh, and in order to start doing the radio communication, I need to press one of the two buttons for a very long time, for 10 seconds. And if I hold in my hand for 10 seconds, I will be able to uh, start a radio communication. And then I will press it for a short time. And then again, for another long 10 seconds, I will be able to close the radio communication of the group and see if I've selected the right channel, which is not the case. So then I will the press the button again, and I will scroll through 16 channels to be able to see if I have the right channel to communicate to the Philips product. And indeed, you see now that at the, after four times pressing, the right channel is chosen. So I will now select the opposing button and close uh, this uh, switch here to the group. And I will say on the app, yes, I've successfully added one switch. Uh, I will ever for this video now add a second switch. So I will do that, although the group is only of two switches. <coughs> Two, two fixtures, I will add a second switch. And that's the Philips um, product, which I need to take apart, so I need to remove the cover. And I will now press the uh, one of the four buttons that I have here in my hand and the opposing big bar to see if the right channel of communication is uh, occurring. So once again, I press 10 seconds for uh, the uh, for the button. to see if indeed the right channel occurs. But that's not the case, so I go on to the next one. And that's the one that communicates uh, towards the easy sense. So I will close this now by pressing the opposing button, the opposing big bar, and I've now added this um, switch to the group. So I say yes on the smartphone, and I say I'm done. And I will now close the group by pointing to one of the two fixtures, and then hopefully you see them blink twice to acknowledge that the group has been created. And that means that I will be able to use, for instance, the Philips uh, button here, Philips switch here, for instance, to switch the fixtures to off, as you can see right now. And I will be using the second switch here to show, to demonstrate to you that both of the fixtures will be able to switch to on. And these are, of course, the user commands that can be generated uh, to the group. All right, the installer might have now the necessity to say, okay, I've now created a group and I go back to the dashboard to, for instance, uh, these quick light level settings, uh, because now the group can, for instance, be adjusted to a new light level by selecting um, the entire group here and writing that the fixture now acknowledges the receipt and the full group has now changed the brightness of the fixtures. Okay, so that's about how to create a group and how to add switches to the group. Uh, and we will now go to the um, spec sheet of the EasySense product. And on the spec sheet of the EasySense product, you will find information about which switches will work with the uh, Philips EasySense. For instance, here I show you product details of the Illumra switch, the two-button Illumra switch, which you can order on DigiKey to be able to operate the EasySense product. Okay, that brings me to the last part of the video by announcing to you that for the next video, we will be talking about all the configuration parameters of the EasySense and how to change them. Thank you very much.